Hello, welcome back to Ask Nehru. In this video tutorial, I am going to explain about how to create components and use them in the parent components. This is very interesting guys. If you haven't watched my previous video, so please watch it because this is going to be a continuous Angular series. Ok, fine guys. So this is the place where we have left in my last uh, video. From there I start. So then I go to my code base. So how to create components? What is the importance of components? So before explaining this, I want to give you an example. Okay. So in our Angular, this is a documentary. So we have different section guys. Okay. You see, this is the sidebar section, and this is also a base sidebar section. And we have the content sections so in order to create different sections of the applications we create components this is the better examples you take any website as examples so we have navigation bar so this navigation bar is a section and this is going to be uh, the component in our angular so and we have sidebar and each sidebar has some list of titles and while clicking the titles it is projecting its particular content into different components consider this is a component and this is also a component this is also a component so component is going to help us to create different sections in the particular view this is that simple guys okay there may be some other examples but this is for basic understanding so this component is going to help us to create different sections of a particular page we can say yes so now in our in our application how to create that and how to show in our um, ui ui means user interface so we have terminal here so already the uh, pro the project i mean the application is running so i don't want to disturb that application i want to create one more that is called powershell i choose powershell then here in the terminal i'll give a command that is angular cli command the base command of the angular cli is ng and g is for generate 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 however you call and c is nothing but the component because we are going to create the component generating the component and initially i create home component so when i click enter it will generate home component for us okay so let's wait guys one two three four five six seven eight nine ten guys takes time but wait till it creates but it won't take that much time maybe because of I run some other applications in my computer it is running on we'll wait guys till it creates come on guys so it successfully created a component so one component can have html spec.ts ts and scss so in the side menu you can see the side menu of the vs code so within the app this is the root component within the app root folder the home component is being created so within the home folder you see html scss spec.ts and ts fold so four things are there now if you see guys uh, html is going to show the content and scss is to style the content and spec.ts is also very important for testing it for testing i will create a new video series and this is the ts ts is nothing but it's a root component okay root component for root section of the component here we have many things okay we have add component it is an object this it actually this add is a method and which is going to have an object you see the curly brace object within that are key and values 
की वैल्यूज की एन वैल्यूज सो की वैल्यू पैर्स और द सो दिस सेलेक्टर इज नथिंग बट जस्ट लाइक सी एस एस सेलेक्टर वी हैव ए सी एस एस सो दिस अ सेलेक्टर सो दैट दिस कैन बी यूज एज द जस्ट लाइक एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट ओके एंड स्टैंड अलोन इज ट्रू दैट मीन्स दिस कॉम्पोनेंट डजेंट डिपेंड ऑन एनी अदर कॉम्पोनेंट और एनी अदर मॉड्यूल ओके इम्पोर्ट इम्पोर्ट मीन्स वी इम्पोर्ट ऑल द थर्ड पार्टी मॉड्यूल्स हियर इन द इम्पोर्ट अरे or even some core fundamental libraries we can import and we can also import other components within this component using the import okay and template url is nothing but it is pointing towards home home.component.html which is there here okay and also style url so which is connecting with this style css okay so this is very simple guys and we have class also and we are exporting the class here so what's the use of exporting it if we export it we can import it in some other parent components okay for that this export is essential because this is this applies only to the standalone component okay fine now uh in our app.component.html there are so many contents are there already so that's what we see here here okay now we want to create our own right i don't want the predefined styles and content okay we want our own content to be projected here because we want our own applications therefore i just select all other boilerplate code and i keep only the uh, router outlet okay so what will happen now i just uh, removed everything and uh, the result is oh nothing is there here now i want to create i want to keep the home component here okay how to keep the home component i show you just above the router outlet i create home okay but it doesn't wrap it with the tags therefore i keep home okay see guys when i keep home it is throwing an error because we are we have not imported it that's a problem so in the imports of the parent component that's uh, that is called app.component.ts we should import it okay because we are exporting the home component there just look at uh, look at here so we should import it here okay if you don't import it won't project okay so home component it is automatically suggested therefore i have given it okay the error has not gone yet why what's the reason oh the reason is this won't work because we need the selector yes this is the app home app home is the selector name so that we should type that okay now it is good guys now now we can see the result yes as we expected home works this home works is nothing but the content of the home component now it is visible here so we have successfully given that guys this is one way of showing the content here okay now i want to handle because this app.component.html let it take the responsibility responsibility of router outlet router outlet is nothing but routing towards different section of the applications but this acts as the base component so we don't want to disturb this one so whenever we create the home component be the landing page uh, and from the home component we will navigate to different section of the applications therefore i remove it from here okay don't worry guys when i remove it it is removed from here doesn't mean that is going to be is not going to be here okay now i will use router outlet the advantage of router outlet for that i go to app.routes.ts routes is nothing but navigating to a particular 
component okay so here we have an array i just expand the array and within the array i create an object and create a path path is nothing to empty path empty path is nothing but whenever we open the application what has to be here okay that's what then i say load component or uh, in simple manner we can give component and home component as well okay i don't want to confuse because there are routing series is going to come up in that i will explain about other aspect of routes in this simple the path is empty path empty path is nothing but this path okay see guys the home works so in two ways we have uh, handled it one way is we have given the selector here another way i just removed the selector but using the power of routes so i am showing it so this is the best best practice guys so now the home component as the acts as the base component in the similar way we can create multiple uh, components to use it in the home component okay now what i do i create again ng g c navbar component because we want navigation right we on navigation bar on the top see guys it immediately created but in the first time when i try to create it takes much time now it has not at all taken time so navbar has been created and the created navbar is here okay i go to navbar and choose the selector here now i want to use the selector i don't want routing why that is the reason okay because in the home component i want to make some structure in the same component i want to show the navbar sidebar and the main content projecting component as well okay so for that purpose so i remove this home works okay and i keep um navbar okay i just pasted the selector here and i am going to close it okay now it is asking an error it is nothing but we should import them in the home component okay we should import the component what is the component name navbar component okay that's all guys so i save them so yes i have saved it now in the home component we have given the navbar within the navbar there is a content navbar works okay so now let's see the result home works oh it shows home works why what's the reason the I mean, navbar has to work right maybe this is freezed so yes guys now i want to close this and rerun it again so control c if you click it will stop i want to show you sorry so control c means i just uh, stopped it terminated it and again i rerun it with ng so sometimes it happens guys so let it run wait until that yes it's built now let's see the result yes guys now navbar works so sometimes it happens that if you don't rerun the application uh, it won't do because we have imported and created new components so the content projection may not happen immediately but it happens after a period of times okay guys that's all today in the next section the next sorry in the next session in the ne in the next session of the video series i will show you how to keep navigation beautified and sidebars and the content okay till then stay tuned okay and if you have any doubts ask in the comment don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't do it yet thank you i meet you in the next video bye